नमा ओम विष्णु बदाय कृष्ण बस्ताय भूतले श्रीमाते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नीति नाम नमस्ते सरस्वती देवे गौरवानी पचारणी निमसेश शून्यवादी भास्कचादी सत जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्री वासुदेव गोपाक्त बिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम वी रीडिंग फ्रॉम द 7th कैंटो 13th चैप्टर 31st वर्स ऑफ श्रीमद् भागवत भागवत श्रीमद् भागवत Material activities are always mixed with three kinds of material condition, miserable conditions, adi daivika and adi baudika. By performing such activities, what is the real value of that success? One is still subjected to birth, death, old age, and disease, and the reactions of his fruit of activities. The purport of this verse is that people do not know the real problem of life. The real problem of life is not eating, sleeping, defending, or mating. The real problem of life is not global warming or any other material disturbance. The real problem of life is that we have to take birth. we grow old we suffer disease and we die in the period between birth and death if one works very hard and accumulates money and has so many comforts what is the benefit because he will soon die the only solution to the real problem of life repeated birth and death is krishna consciousness As long as we are not Krishna conscious, we are under the control of the material modes, and we have to suffer repeated birth, old age, disease, and death. To become Krishna conscious, we have to always think of Krishna. We have to always use our thoughts for serving Krishna. The materialistic man works very hard so he can enjoy, but we are not. the enjoyer we are eternally servants everyone is serving unfortunately people are serving their body therefore even if they gain some bodily comforts bodily uh, success they soon have to die we have to become krishna conscious always thinking of krishna's service always working for krishna's benefit always telling others about krishna in says in the bhagavad gita no one is more dear to me than one who preaches krishna consciousness preaching krishna consciousness is not very difficult it doesn't require a college degree krishna consciousness only requires that we always think of krishna we only have to know krishna krishna says i am the source of everything everything emanates from me the wise who know this perfectly engage in my devotional service we cannot avoid service either we're serving in this material world our wife our children our employer whoever we're always serving but as long as we work only for material benefits for material enjoyers we are sure to be unsuccessful the only way to stop birth and death to stop having to take another material body in which suffering is unavoidable we have to surrender to krishna Krishna says to Arjuna surrender to me utterly by my grace you'll enjoy peace wealth and victory it is not 
that material comforts are lacking in Krishna consciousness, but they are achieved by serving Krishna. They are achieved by surrendering to Krishna utterly. Surrendering utterly means at every moment, in everything we do, in everything that happens to us, we say, thank you, Krishna. We exclaim, thank you, Krishna, for now as it is. How do I use now as it is for your service? And one who accepts each moment only for Krishna's service never experiences material misery. Even when he is subjected to material trials and tribulations and, and, oppose, and apparently suffers material uh, unfortunate, or unfortunate fortunate things, he is never in distress. He knows that nothing happens but by the grace of Krishna. Even if some material unfortunate circumstance afflicts him, he knows it is the grace of Krishna meant for his benefit. Krishna is all-powerful. Krishna is all-knowing. Krishna is everywhere present. He knows what is best for his children. And he is all-love. He wants only the best for his children. Therefore, we have to surrender to him and trust in the Lord with all our heart then only Krishna consciousness follows. In proportion to our faith in Krishna, we experience Krishna consciousness. One who is convinced that Krishna does everything perfectly never experiences material misery. He never knows material distress, for he knows Krishna is his friend, Krishna is his father, Krishna is his benefactor. Krishna is not a poor man. He's not a weak man. He's not away on vacation. He is always with us. And he is always controlling what happens to us. Therefore, we just put ourselves in his hand. Krishna says, abandon all kinds of pious speculation. Surrender to me. Give me your adoration. Do not fear. I give my loving benefaction to deliver you from all sinful reactions. Are there any questions? You have a question? One can always serve Krishna. There is no question of not being able to serve Krishna because it is not dependent on any material result. Simply to try and serve Krishna, to do your best to serve Krishna, Krishna sees the effort. Krishna is not satisfied by any material thing. He's satisfied by our love, which is expressed in our attempt to Krishna. Any other question? No other questions? <laughs> You're all convinced. Chant Hare Krishna and be happy. Hare Krishna.